Man up! Is an expression every adolescent boy has heard. For guys, it's better to be mad than to be sad. Guys don't cry. Guys don't show emotions. Guys take it like men. And guys drop out of school and are emotionally disturbed four times as often as girls, get into fights twice as often, are six times more likely than girls to be diagnosed with ADHD, and commit suicide four times more often as girls. Something is wrong with my generation. But what? We feel the pressure to live up to unattainable ideals of masculinity and the feelings of doubt, anxiety, and shame that often accompany that quest. We must act like we know where we're going, even if we don't, ending up with the sense that we're frauds, cheating ourselves and our close ones. We live in a void. We're not boys, but we're not men either. What guys from 16 to 26 desperately desire is the validation of their manhood, especially by their peers. This is where fraternities enter the picture. Some scholars argue that fraternities only problematize the volatile nature of masculinity. Boys trying to impress other boys of their manhood through the most insane hazing ritual. That fraternities celebrate the boy instead of the man. But my fraternity membership felt very different from that. Surely, fraternities have seen a lot of negative publicity in the news. Hazing incidents, gang rapes, but they can give an incredibly positive experience as well. As one alumni explains, fraternities are attractive for their utilitarian and spiritual purposes. So I want to go back to Long Beach to see if that is true, to find out on what level fraternities endorse what some label the guy code, shutting your mouth, not expressing emotions, succumbing to peer pressure and being an indifferent play, and on what level they help the individual through a sense of belonging and also giving a sense of career security through their enormous network. The question is this, do they make you a boy or a man? I don't want to write an essay because it just be read and archived. Instead, I want to show this issue to as many people as possible. That's why I'm making a documentary. Because so many teenagers are affected by feelings of insecurity and anxiety. And every day, they see news images of perfect lives. Not only do I offer a European perspective, I'm also a frat guy. I know what it's like being a pledge in both the US as in the Netherlands. And I know what it's like living in the anxious void of being a teenage guy.